Hey there, Foundation staff, Sherm here, and today we are doing an SCP-3008-2 makeup tutorial. I've got my wonderful makeup artists here. Hi! This is Sabrina, this is Michelle. Yes, yes. And they're gonna turn me into basically an Ikea Slenderman. So let's get this party on the road. Anytime y'all want to like just face the camera and tell them what you're doing, that's extra credit. Oh, sweet. So first we need to apply the bald cap. And as you see here, the bald cap needs to be extremely thin for those edges. So he has a lot of nice hair, which is going to make it fun for us. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Ready for this? Oh, yeah, let's play this game. Woo! All right, so this is Prosade Cream. A lot of you will know Spirit Gum, but this is definitely a little bit of the higher grade, more professional level. And this is great for application of prosthetics, ball cap and any like wounds that you like make or anything so it's a little smidge different than spirit gum and a lot more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I've got the Ikea shirt. Let's center me that way you guys are in frame. Boom. Sweet. This uh, is a lot better. I'll keep an eye on it for now, and when my eyes are gone, we can continue. Alright, so now we're going to start fitting the actual prosthetic piece, which Michelle and I last week sculpted, molded, and created. So it's a custom piece just for Sherman, because we love him! No. <laughs> Sweet. So you can already tell he lost his features. But what's interesting about having a sculpted piece that has no features, you kind of have to reverse sculpt. So what we did was we created like, you know, having that really long, like slender man look, as well as like the cheekbones that come in and still giving that like little bit nice shadow of a nose. So it's not just like a glob on his face, but completely still gives that full profile. Oh, I already like it. Yes, <laughs> Van away. And if you like our sweatshirts, oh yeah, you can go and buy them. They go to the Joshua Nolan Foundation to help promote good mental health. All right, cool. So breathe. And <laughs> we're back. <laughs> You're born again. So now what we're gonna do is take the prosthetic and we're gonna lay that same thing that we did with the um, bald cap, the Prosade cream, and then we're gonna wait for it to get tacky so then it really adheres to oh, the bald cap and face. All right. And we're gonna give Sherm his last breaths. <laughs> <laughs> So when it comes to application of like special effects stuff, a lot of people like to buy those expensive brushes, but I mean, you can always just get sponges and Q-tips, they do the job. So yeah, so in the case of like a film and you know where it would be like a 10 hour shoot, we would not do this, we would actually make a prosthetic that has a thinner piece where he can breathe and we can put some like mesh there so there's like an actual breathing part of it. But since we wanted to stay really true to the artwork and just true to the form of a Slender Man, we are doing it old school, 80s style. He's breathing through straws. Aw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put straws in my nose. <laughs> want to know more about us, just because we don't want to give you a lot of nothing, but this part will probably be sped up, but just in case it's not. So uh, Michelle and I have been working together for only Two years. Two years. Yeah. But if you met us in person, everyone thinks we've been working together forever. And yes, world, we both have red hair. Yes. Everyone freaks out about it. <laughs> like, I had red hair before I met her. She had red hair before she met me. And we just both have red hair. And so, <laughs> for some reason, everyone thinks it's like the weirdest, 
cutest thing. But um, yeah, we always get compliments yeah, on it. We do, or weird stares. Yeah, or weird one stares. Of the two. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> um, both of us have been a makeup artist, professional makeup artist, for over ten years. And I mean, our range goes from a lot of independent films to um, New York Fashion Week to uh, commercial work, commercial work, advertising, advertising to print. yep, print, celebrity makeup, and even convention makeup. So we do a lot of work with Walker Stalker Con, which is Walking Dead as uh, convention. And we have a lot of close friends that are, um, are actors on Walking Dead that we've had the chance to do their makeup and just, you know, developed a great relationship with. And that's one thing that's wonderful about makeup in general is that you get to establish such a great working relationship with people and, you know, you while you're so torturing them. wonderful people. Yeah. That's sweet. So I think we're going to hit it with the blow dryer and then go in with some airbrush. Okay. So Michelle is like max, master mixologist here. She always comes up with the best colors. So her and I work really well together because we both are very level on our strengths. But there's some things where I'm just like, Michelle, you get that. And then Michelle's like, no, Sabrina, you get that. And we just know how to work really well together. So um, I love her mixology work on colors. So she's going to go ahead and mix something up while I actually hit um, this prose cream with a... Uh, oh no, the battery light's flashing. Oh no. So now we're gonna go in with our airbrush. There we go. All right, so it's gonna be a little bit noisy in here and you're not gonna really see us talk, but he'll go fast through this part. If you can hear me, <laughs> see you in the next video.